Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. When shuffling the deck, the card of the King of Pentacles popped out. So we're going to uh, receive that message. Let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month going into September 2021. Now your first card here is the King of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. The Five of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Partner, Person of Interest, Temperance, Page of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Death Card, and the Six of Swords. Okay. All right. Leo. Leo. I'm definitely seeing you guys being extremely grounded. This is you being very motivated, very focused in career, in your finances, in achieving your goals. This can also represent dealing a uh, dealing with an earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, I also do see here water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I see Scorpio here as well. And um, Sagittarius, we do have the Temperance card here. Um, I see you being very, very grounded, very practical in your approach to love and romance. With the Ace of Cups here, there is a new beginning that is going to be unfolding for you. They're giving me the first and second week of September, um, where there's going to be almost like this energy of meeting and being around more suitors than you often are or that you would usually be around. I am hearing that you're going to be introduced to uh, different people. I see a lot of new people coming in as well as old people returning. This could be people of interest to you. This could be people that are definitely wanting um, to get to know you, to get your attention. Five of Wands often indicates uh, struggle. Um, but in this situation, I see that there's a lot of people, a lot of suitors trying to get your attention, Leo. With the Page of Pentacles, again, it is a very practical approach to what you're looking for when we're talking about relationships. You may be viewing a situation where you're dealing with the person, South Leo, uh, older person, could be a bit older than you, from two to seven years older than you. And there is a desire to start something, to see where this goes. Uh, there may be some intimidation on your part, as the Five of Wands usually indicates a person that gets a lot of attention. And there may be, um, they may have had a previous relationship where children are involved. I do see a child around this person. However, with the Three of Pentacles, sorry, not Pentacles, the Three of Wands, there is a desire to look towards the future. So this is a person that is emotionally available. This is a person that is ready uh, to open up or to take it to the next level for some of you guys. For others of you, this could be a new person that will be introduced to you that is ready to, basically I'm hearing uh, single and ready to mingle. So this is a person that perhaps has made a priority um, of them, their children or their child, a specific child. Um, but now I feel that they are a little bit more mature, meaning their child, <clears throat> and they're ready. They're finally ready to um, really open up and see what's out there, basically. So this could be a person that has been uh, single for over two years, but perhaps has not held a long-term commitment or any type of serious relationship. Now, how the person is viewing the situation with the temperance, there is a lot of healing that they have gone through. Uh, Page of Cups is being open to love. With the Nine of Pentacles, uh, sorry, I keep saying Pentacles. With the Nine of Cups here, um, they are ready. You know, they're ready to embrace uh, love. They're ready to find a person that may meet or may have the same qualities or outlook in life as they do. Uh, Nine of Pentacles is often connected to wish fulfillment. With the Death card here, uh, they are ready to receive that wish fulfillment and they may see you or view you as their wish fulfillment, as the person they've been looking for. Perhaps for some of you guys, you have a lot of commonalities. You have a lot of things in common. For some, 
Uh, you may be dealing with a person that has a child and you yourself can totally relate because for some of you, you probably do have a child um, and you can connect on a deeper level because of this. Now, for others of you, it's just indicating that this is a person that is ready to open up. Uh, Queen of Cups usually represents a, a very loving, nurturing type of energy. And with the death card, they're ready to embrace that. They're ready to open up and move on from the past. So you may be dealing with a person that has had uh, difficulty kind of overcoming the past or moving on from the past. Now, if you are dealing with someone that you've been in a committed relationship for a very long time, I do see things uh, overcoming a bit of obstacles and being able to get on the same page. They are definitely more understanding, more nurturing, and there is a new beginning or a new cycle where you're going to be fully experiencing uh, wish fulfillment or happiness when we're talking about love and romance. So very good energy here, Leo. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.